let's look at what Peplink is going to be making available for 5G devices. So we've got six devices here that are 5G ready. We've got our MBX. This is our really powerhouse mobility router. You can use this in a fixed location too if you're trying to get a whole bunch of bandwidth aggregated into one location. But again, a lot of the times we see this in a, in a mobile context. So let's, took it, let's take a deeper look at each of these. So the MBX 5G, this is almost identical to the current M MBX. There's really no change other than the radio tray that's put on there. So again, the MBX when it launched was an upgradable product from day one. There's four screws that allow you to remove that radio tray. So you just unscrew those four screws if you've got one already, pull, those radio, pull that radio tray out. You can buy a 5G radio tray, plug it back in. Now you're on 5G. The MBX is really, again, the ultimate mobile connectivity solution. There's PoE on it, there's USB, there's Ethernet WAN. So if you've got satellite or microwave or other types of links, you've got two different Wi-Fi radios. So you can have Wi-Fi WAN and a Wi-Fi access point. You've got lots of capabilities in, built into this router. And again, you've got four cellular connections, whether it be 4G or 5G, that you can use to aggregate bandwidth or protect real-time applications using those different speed fusion technologies. The other really cool thing about MBX is you're not only diversifying and, and giving yourself redundancy on the, on the carrier side, you're also really targeting uptime from a power side too. The MBX has two different DC power inputs as well as a DC terminal block. So you've got two different plugs you can plug power supplies into and you've got a terminal block to hardwire it. So you can mix and match those, right? You can run the, the DC barrel jack connector off of a AC to DC inverter and then you can directly hardwire the, the DC jack and use the ignition sense to wire it directly to the vehicle's battery. So you've got lots of power options that you can use to keep this router up and make sure that you're staying up no matter what out in the field. So let's look at some ways people could use this. Again, this doesn't have to be a mobility product. You could use this at a fixed location where you just need really good failover connectivity, right? Again, you might have one or two gigabit lines coming in over ethernet or fiber. And again, you need a useful failover connection. So you can bond a couple of 5Gs together to give you that super useful failover. Again, you've got PoE output on this device, so you can hang some cameras or access points. The other cool thing you can do with the MBX is if you're really using a lot of bandwidth out in the field, we've got a product called our SIM injector. And so this allows you to plug this device into the MBX and add even more SIM cards to your, your connectivity mix. So by default, the MBX comes with four modems with each two SIMs, an A and a B SIM for each modem. So that's eight SIMs total in the, in the, in the traditional MBX deployment form factor, but you can add these SIM injectors to add eight more, eight more SIM cards at a time. So again, if you're consuming massive amounts of bandwidth out in the field and chewing through data plans faster than you can keep track of, you can use that SIM injector to make sure that you're always using the most affordable connectivity instead of paying for overage rates. Again, there's lots of different possibilities. If we look at a mobile deployment, again, you can use 5G, you can use LTE, you can use VSAT, you can use Wi-Fi from a, maybe a port or a hotspot, or maybe it's just a depot that you're, you're parking your fleet vehicles in. You've got lots of connectivity options on the, on the MBX. Again, you can run things like IP cameras, access points, any sort of PoE device with that built-in eight port switch of, with PoE, 802.3AT PoE output on it. And you can hang more switches off it, whether it's a peplink switch or, or a third party standards compliant switch, you can expand the connectivity from that MBX.